good. My ears are very painful. What is good, yo? <sighs> so, we are definitely, definitely having some fun with Copcraft now. Uh, this week's episode definitely wasn't supposed to be a uh, comedy, I'm pretty sure, but because of the way things started to pop off real quick, uh, it turned into one. <laughs> um, so, with these weird uh, magic things or latums that we pretty much find throughout all, you know, randomly through the show times, with certain people being able to use them or certain people knowing that they exist and, you know, using them without even knowing that they're using them. Uh, like our cop who supposedly has it on his gun, almost as if he's met somebody from her world. And because of that, he was capable of getting um, some type of magic or something along those lines um, on his gun. Or this was a gun that he might have, like purchased or I don't, I, not, I wouldn't say purchased but maybe it was just blessed by someone and he didn't understand what the blessing meant or I don't know it just seems like somehow some way we still haven't really learned why she can sense that power on his gun just like how she sensed the power on this crossbow and could well quote unquote smell it and because of that, we get to see just what, um, you know, happens when a lot of these items are used in any type of way, shape, or form, and how powerful or dangerous they could be. This one being able to transform your physical body with, like, whoever's in the vicinity once you've been shot. So, if I was a guessing man, this was probably something used by somebody who... Like, the old man, for instance, could probably use something like this, right? Like, if he didn't like how old he was getting or something, boom. You shoot someone with the arrow, you change body with a younger person, all all your brain and everything goes with it, too. So, not it's not like she lost any of her intelligence once she turned into a cat. She literally could send full-blown text message and call. So everything that the cat could do or couldn't do, she like gained the ability of the cat's body and, you know, flexible or jumping and all that stuff. But not only that, she kept her intelligence with it. So that's the huge takeaway from this thing that could be probably used in the worst way, uh, shape possible when it comes down to these people. Imagine if you remembered everything you got, someone's running in trying to take you out there's a dog somewhere you poke yourself with the arrow turn into the dog the cops come in shoot up the, your body but you're now the dog all you have to do now is get that arrow to hit somebody that's human and, or or an elf and now you're coming back to you know having a full-blown body thanks kakashi you're a good friend buddy all right frieza you gotta die no he's not gonna die um, oh, I won though. That's dirty. That was dirty. But with this show kind of showing us just how far it will go for, you know, like a good laugh and stuff like that, it also seems like this could lead into something relatively crazy. Like, sure, we're looking at one of our characters <clears throat> being a cat throughout it, and one of our characters not even caring the whole time, but. If this crossbow were to get into the wrong hands, or if this crossbow is to be destroyed, we would see the show ending with her a cat and, you know, not into her physical body. And I think that's pretty funny. Just like, not only did he get rid of her chance of coming back to being a human, he also just doesn't care. <laughs> like, he seemingly just doesn't care. Um... That's funny to me. I don't know. I don't know why. It just seems when you see a cat and a girl switched in their way of acting, it's a red flag for me. Like if that it would be a red flag for me. I mean, there's a lot of things they deal with on a day to day basis already. And to think that her, I 
forgot to rest up again. Her acting as a cat isn't something out of the norm. Like, she literally was just fine and was talking trash and was hating you to all of a sudden meowing, or not meowing, but barely capable of saying your name the right way because it's new to speak. And I guess that's not really that much of a change because he thinks she's an alien and calling her an alien's racist and he still doesn't really care just he still calls her an alien regardless so this it kind of shows you their you know just how dysfunctional they really are but when they get into a case they all of a sudden are you know perfect the perfect combo at times so that's that's another cool part about this show that I've kind of grown to like is they have these moments where you're kind of like, oh, they're, they're not going to be able to work together. They're not going to be able to do anything in this situation. And then come to find out the cop just shooting a, a bullet to give her like an opening or something along those lines is all she really needs, you know. So I I like it. I like the camaraderie that they have when they're actually fighting something. But when you see them like this and the guy literally just got rid of her only chance of coming back it kind of puts into question how much camaraderie there really is so i'm interested to in seeing what you guys are actually thinking about copcraft i'm pretty sure a lot of people were watching it when i first was like talking about it and stuff like that and then i didn't really hear from a lot of people anymore after it kind of dwindled down a little bit so i'm interested in if you are still watching it keeping up with it or if you're just kind of seeing what people are saying about it and seeing if it's something you want to like oh my god they nerfed this man so hard why why let's see if he's still nerfed and awakened holy crap um but yeah i look forward to whatever cop crap brings i mean there isn't a lot that was in this show that i didn't like so far that was like oh man that's cheesy or oh man i I could live without that being in the show, you know. Nothing like that really occurred to me. God, these guys are so annoying when they just run. Oh, just gonna, oh the time's almost up? I'm going to run. Here we go. Running. I'm going to destroy them. But if they can keep this up, I will be pretty entertained overall. Um, I'm pretty sure that the show isn't even cl remotely close to giving us um, the best of the best yet. Or it is. And because... I think it might be a 12 episode series or I haven't even seen how many episodes it's supposed to be yet but depending on that it's going to be the real big indicator on just you know what winds up being the end all be all of these episodes and I'm interested in that by a lot is what's going to happen at the end the only reason why I said it feels like this season's going to end and we'll probably get more is because of how little of the old man we're getting when it seems like he's a pretty important piece to our main guy when it came down to something that happened between them. So it was weird to not get any information outside of like, oh, were you that guy? You are that guy? I'm going to kill that guy. You know, like, okay, well, why? What happened? Why were you in this situation? Who who hurt you? <laughs> you know, Like, what the heck? So really interested in that aspect of the story and seeing where it goes but not only that we got a lot of uh craziness going on with this week so we'll see how they figure it out and just what all transpires at the end of this so with all that being said i hope you guys have an amazing day night evening and i'm going to show you what true power looks like um but yeah, I definitely will be talking to you guys tomorrow on some Black Clover. See, I showed you what True Power looks like. That guy's strong. Um, but yeah, once Black Clover is over and all that stuff, I definitely hope we still get some crazy animes out there. Why is everybody just doing their abilities and it's getting really annoying now? And he just got his ability, so he's going to do it. Yep, see? <sighs> they nerfed everybody. My God. But yeah. I will talk to you guys in the next one. So with that, peace. I didn't know for that.